In Kuru, the launch pad for Ariane 6 is taking shape. The big hole is already there, the excavation is finished, and the launch zone buildings will soon appear. Ariane 6's launch pad will be different from previous launches in Kuru, with the stages being prepared horizontally. In parallel to these ground activities, the configuration of Ariane 6 is frozen with two possibilities. Ariane 6-2 mainly for single payloads, and Ariane 6-4 for dual payloads. The goal is to ensure Europe secures its independent access to space and continues to play a key role in the worldwide launcher market competition. The independent access to space is of course the primary objective. And uh, we always used uh, European developed launchers to fulfill this objective. We were lucky enough that uh, we were very successful also on the commercial market with Ariane 5. We, have, we still have over 50% of the commercial market. As we all know, uh, this environment is uh, exposed to fierce competition. Uh, the offer of launch vehicles from 2020 onwards will be significantly higher. And uh, we have designed Ariane 6. We have designed it to cost. We have designed it to be able to go against this fierce competition in 2020 onwards. And for this, of course, we also use this launcher to deploy European flagship programs like uh, Galileo. So, Ariane 6 should maintain Europe's leadership in the fast-changing commercial launch service market, while responding to the needs of European institutional missions. This move is associated with the change in the governance of the European launcher sector, based on a sharing of responsibility, cost and risk by ESA and the industry. One key factor in this new approach represented by Ariane 6 is the so-called European preference. It means launching European satellites with European launchers. This time it should become a reality with tailored contracts for European institutional customers like governments, ESA, UMETSAT and of course the European Union. Uh, we built Ariane 6 on the heritage of Ariane 5 mainly. So technically we know exactly where we are going. On the cost side we diminish by two. Uh, by better processes, by using uh, existing technologies, as you know. So, in fact, we come on the market with a reliable, hopefully reliable, but a good product at a clear cost. This has to be seen together with the need from the customers. And the customer, we need to deploy today uh, Galileo, and we have an opportunity to match the two together and ensure that Europe flies its own programs with its own launchers. Ariane 6 will be the workhorse for Galileo while the upgraded Vega, Vega C, will cover the deployment of the Sentinel satellites for the EU's Copernicus program. Vega C will increase Vega's current capacity from 1.5 tons to 2.2 tons on polar orbit, which is the most common orbit for observation satellites. With both Ariane 6 and Vega C, Europe will provide the same services as the current Ariane 5, the Soyuz from CSG and Vega, being able to launch any satellite on any orbit from its spaceport in French Guiana. However, the launcher will be fully European. <laughs>